public service media is it's, it's of course crucial to give the right facts and figures and explain the background of migration, put news into context and debunk wrong information and counter disinformation, which is of course now a big problem in this context. This is very much what public service media do. But we find that audiences are often much less interested in abstract facts and figures. They rather want to have a human story and personal experience. If they can relate to something, this is much more interesting for them. So The New Neighbours uh, is a project with a series of documentaries produced by nine public service media organizations across Europe. Uh, it gives a unique overview of integration, prejudice, fears and humanity, but in a way which is easy to relate to. The documentaries were actually filmed with the microcosm of ordinary people. And in that way, migration gets a human face and this is how the audience can get uh, engaged. Again, if I can use uh, this example of the New Neighbours project, the documentaries show people who had to leave their home and integrate into a new neighbourhood, a new village, for example, a new city and also a new society. And in this project, while migrants and refugees are very much in the core of the story, so are also the local people, those who have to accept the new neighbours, those who have to welcome them in their houses sometimes. This approach is uh, a way to engage with what we sometimes call hostile audiences. That is to say, people who would normally not watch a program about migration, who are not interested, who don't want to know, who don't want to challenge their views. Um, and in this context, the cast actually of the main protagonists of the documentaries is of key importance. Um, the audience needs to be able to identify with them and at the same time, the protagonists need to be special and have something unusual to tell. This is the only way you can interest the audience and to make them curious. And broadcasters uh, have to master a balance. The documentaries show negative and positive elements, and they would never say, this is what you should think. They rather let the viewers conclude themselves, and that's really crucial for public service media. Public service media want to empower citizens to take their own decisions. And if the documentary is well done, the audience will watch the film until the end, and this is a good start, and maybe question some of their beliefs, and maybe they are willing to see refugees or migrants in a new light. And of course, we think that docu these documentaries have involved local communities um, in discussions, and this is really because communication is never a one-way exercise. As part of the projects, discussions and a lot of other activities with local communities were organized by our partner organizations, civil society organizations and community leaders. They discussed if migrants and refugees can add valuable contribution to their local community. And these discussions were based on the documentaries, people watched the films and then engaged in interesting discussions. Local communities have a big role to play here because they will ultimately have to welcome or not um, the refugees and the migrants. So if they can be involved from the start in the discussion and interested in all uh, the problematics which are surrounding this uh, um, issue, then I think this can be a big step forward.